Technically, while we were married, we did agree at some point. Yes. <laughs> but as the performances went on, things started to get a bit heated. This is also you. You used to bring yes. back a whole bunch of people, didn't you? Yeah, well, I worked more than you. Your honeys? These are my what? These What's are my babies. Your... Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. You're a pig. Y'all, it looks like Mark Anthony has finally had enough of JL causing drama in their kid's life. And guess what? He's finally stepping out of the shadows to call her out on it. The word has it that Mark is fed up with JLo's embarrassing tactics to establish her diva status at the price of his children's peace. It looks like the things are starting to get real messy and fans are all for it. So without further ado, let's get into it. 1. JLo and Ben Affleck Divorce We all know that JLo cannot keep a marriage and has been divorced for three times. Reportedly, she is headed towards her fourth one as Ben Affleck's marriage is strained. Not surprising if you look at the previous stats, right? Now, the thing is, it looks like JLo actually is really head over heels for Ben. But it looks like heartbreak will not be the only loss that she goes through if her longtime love, Ben Affleck, decides to step back from his marital vows. You see, in the latest findings of Closer magazine, an insider spilled the beans, saying, Aside from the heartache and emotional ups and downs of their current situation, the fact that there is a prenup and all the logistics that entails have been weighing heavily on Jen. She's been warned this could be potentially becoming one of Hollywood's ugliest divorces, which would be her worst nightmare. Now listen, many speculate that this could apparently be the end of J. Lo's kids' future. Now this divorce was first speculated by fans as they noticed that Ben and Jennifer had been spending increasing amounts of time apart in recent weeks. The actor did not attend the Met Gala with his wife in May, despite her important position as co-chair of the event. Ben's official excuse for missing the Met Gala was that he was busy filming The Accountant too. But in touch's source claimed that he decided to call it quits on his marriage to the A-list singer. The source spilled. The writing is on the wall. It's all over. They're headed for a divorce, and for once, Ben's not to blame. He's focusing on his work and his kids now. Ben already moved out, and they'll likely have to sell the dream house they spent two years searching for. They'll never stop loving each other, but she can't control him, and he can't change her. There's no way it could have lasted. Reports now claim that JLo's mama, Guadalupe Rodriguez, isn't holding back. She allegedly urged her daughter to take a big step, which includes leaving Ben behind. A source told in Daily Mail that her mother believes the singer wasted years thinking Ben is her knight in shining armor. Jennifer's mom told her, cut your losses and move on to avoid getting any deeper in this mess. He's not the person she built him up to be. It takes too much of a toll on her, causing her to lose sight of who she is and what she stands for. The source further claimed that not only her mother, but the pop star herself has now come to terms with the idea that Ben doesn't deserve her, and her sisters agree. The family believes that All I Have singer has become so caught up in things that she isn't seeing it for what it is now. And we all know that JLo has not been a half-decent mom to her kids when she was in a relationship, and fans do not expect much of JLo in the future as well. Now, unlike JLo, Ben is believed to be in a really dark place in the wake of rumors about his crumbling marriage with Jennifer Lopez. While speaking to InTouch Weekly, a source reflected on the Batman alum's current state of mind. At the same time, the Atlas star couldn't be more unbothered after she recently jetted off on a solo excursion to Europe, leaving her husband and kids behind. People close to Ben have been concerned about him for some time. Because of what he's gone through the past couple of months, he's in a really dark place and when he gets like this, they can't help but fear the worst. Another insider pointed out that, so far, Affleck has managed to stay fully sober and he's focusing on his three kids, Violet, Finn, and Samuel. A lot of his second-guessing his marriage to JLo happened because he saw how much his divorce from Jen and the frenzy over his relationship with JLo affected his children. 
Fans believe that there isn't much hope left for the couple, as Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck spent the 4th of July holiday apart, as rumors continue to swirl that their marriage is in trouble. The accountant star had his wedding ring on when he went out to lunch with his child Finn in Los Angeles. While Affleck was with his kids in LA, Lopez was with friends in the Hamptons. So yeah, we'll see where her priorities lie. And not to mention, Affleck has reportedly moved all his belongings out of the home they share. Lopez and Affleck have been living separately. Lopez is living at the couple's $60.8 million Beverly Hills mansion, while the 51-year-old actor is staying in a rental a few miles away in the Brentwood neighborhood of Los Angeles. According to a source close to the couple, the Argo star removed all of his personal items from the mansion ahead of Lopez's return from her solo vacation in Italy. He started moving out a while ago. The marriage is completely over and Jennifer is heartbroken. She loves love and wanted this to work so badly. Another source confirmed that Affleck has made work his main focus during his marital troubles. The insider claimed, Ben has been working non-stop and spending a lot of time at his office. He has a lot of projects he's working on that he's excited about. He's quite hands-on with his company, Artist Equity. He really wants to continue focusing on directing, acting, and producing. Okay, so neither Affleck nor Lopez has confirmed rumors about their marriage, but reports have emerged that the couple is already selling some of their possessions. The property in question included some art and other pieces sold in an auction in June. Affleck and Lopez are also said to have placed their $65 million 12-bedroom home on the market and are awaiting potential buyers to match their preferred price. Already, Affleck was reported to have moved out to the home amid his troubles with Lopez, opting to stay in a $100,000 a month Brentwood rental home closer to his wife, Jennifer Garner. 2. Jennifer and Mark Divorce while there is all this buzz about JLo being in love with Ben, we should remember that this ain't the first time people around her have spread such rumors. Listen, you all should remember how JLo acted all heartbroken after her divorce with Mark. If you don't remember, let's refresh your memory. As an artist, I lost a little bit about who I was trying to build a perfect life, my family life. When my children turned three, I got divorced. I was a single mom with two young children. At 42, movie roles aren't knocking on my door, and when I went back to work, I felt like I didn't know what my value was anymore. I was doing American Idol. That was my first big job after having babies, and it was good for me at the time. People could see me for who I was, and that changed everything. Did you all notice how swiftly JLo made the discussion of her husband all about herself? Anyway, you might not know, but Lopez and Anthony first met while he was performing on Broadway in the musical The Cape Man which closed on March 28, 1998. That same year, Lopez divorced her first husband, Ojani Noah. In Lopez's memoir, True Love, she claimed Anthony's first words to her were, one day you're going to be my wife. In the marriage between Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony, you really have a marriage of two true superstars. Jennifer Lopez, a woman who can, who can dance, a woman who can act, and Mark Anthony, a guy who can really sing. Well, the two reportedly dated briefly around this time, but nothing serious came of it. They both crossed paths again and worked on the song No Me Amez from Lopez's 1999 debut album On The Six. The pair also appeared in the song's solo music video together and the track peaking at number one on Billboard's Hot Latin Songs chart. Their online chemistry was in full swing as Lopez continued to gush over him on several platforms. In an interview with the Billboard, she said, He, Anthony, came by the studio and we played him some of the stuff that we were doing. He was like, okay, okay. And I was such a huge fan of his music in Spanish. And I was like, maybe we should do something in Spanish. I just love your music. He was like, let me think about it. He left the studio and literally five minutes after he left, he called and said, I have the song for us. It's an old Italian song called Non Amarmi and we can translate it into Spanish, do it as a ballad, and do it as a salsa record. Interestingly, Mark Anthony was only four days after formally announcing his divorce from Dianara Torres, when the two singers announced to their fans that they would be getting married. Thus, the couple walked down the aisle in June 2004, 
and with that, they became one of the industry's most important music bellwethers. In this light, there was a rumor that their relationship was a publicity stunt to boost their careers, but that was ruled out four years later with the arrival of their twins and the MX. Despite how solid the marriage looked in 2016, Jennifer and Mark, by mutual agreement, ended their marital relationship. Since then, although several issues that could have been the trigger have been touched upon, the exact cause that led to the sentimental rupture has not been made known. Do you want this divorce? You know, it, it, it's, a, it, it's a decision that we made jointly. And that's how I'll answer that. What can you tell us about what went wrong in the marriage? I'll tell you that it wasn't you know, some, some sensationalistic happening. Fans believed that the singer's taste for parties and celebrations, accompanied by his friends, ended up tiring his then-wife. But nothing was clarified at the time. However, it was not until Jennifer Lopez published her book, True Love, when the interpreter touched the subject of her separation and claims that a panic attack made her think about ending her marriage. I was sitting there, getting my makeup done, and all of a sudden, I felt my heart was beating out of my chest and I couldn't breathe. I started to feel anxious. I felt like I was going crazy and uttered those words, I can't go on with Mark. No one knew what I was going through. My single on the floor was number one all over the world, but my relationship was fading and I was terrified. It seems like the fans are pretty fed up with JLo's over-the-top love stories. One of them commented, knew it wasn't going to last just like all her other relationships. Everything she has said about all of her relationships is the same with all of them. We are so in love. He's the love of my life. He makes me a better person. Oh, she is sickening. So let's see who's the next sucker. Another added, she loves falling in love, being in love, getting engaged, and feeling like a princess on her wedding day. And then the countdown to divorce begins. Taylor Swift does the same thing. She just doesn't marry everyone she dates. Anyway, in July 2011, Anthony and Lopez announced their separation in a statement. A few weeks earlier, Lopez showed up to the BAFTA Brits to watch party in Los Angeles without Anthony or her wedding ring. The singer spoke candidly about the split in a 2016 interview with W Magazine, saying, When my marriage to Anthony ended, it was not easy to find forgiveness. It wasn't the dream that I had hoped for, and it would have been easier to fan the flames of resentment, disappointment, and anger. But Anthony is the father of my children, and that's never going away. So I have to make things work right, and that is by far the hardest thing to do. Lopez wrote in True Love, a 2014 book about her relationship with Anthony, that she couldn't bear to think of all the pain and heartache of her breakup that would have been for nothing. She claimed that maybe she had to go through the bad so she could end up with the person she was meant to be with all along which was supposed to be Ben, but look at what happened to all that. As a result of the divorce, Lopez was granted primary custody of the twins in their divorce. Anthony married Shannon de Lima that same year. During an appearance on Live with Kelly in March 2017, Lopez dismissed rumors of a rekindling romance with Anthony, and at that time, Lopez was dating Alex Rodriguez. She said, We share something very special in the kids, and we know that. We're there for them, and that's the main thing. If you want to get along with a woman, just get divorced. When my marriage fell apart and having to go to the set every day and work is a blessing and a curse at that moment. I remember being on the set and being in my dressing room and not feeling like I could get up in the morning, and there's just no pain like that. On top of JLo's unsuccessful romantic ventures, Jennifer's career has also been going downhill. Jennifer released a new album inspired by her rekindled romance with Ben Affleck that was accompanied by a visual film, This Is Me Now, a love story which frankly was deemed silly and over the top by critics. Another companion Amazon Prime documentary, The Greatest Love Story Never Told, promised an intimate look at the couple's romance. However, its choice of title, given the couple's first cancelled wedding due to excessive media attention, these questions about Lopez's judgment and the future of their relationship. Far from warming fans' hearts, the documentary fueled a backlash with some viewers dubbing the star out of touch and delusional. Understandably, much of the online criticism stemmed from Lopez's failure to connect with her audience and evolve her image. A brand expert, Emily M. Austin, founder of the PR agency Emerge, explained Lopez's predicament, saying, 
As her fans have grown older with her, she's not done a good enough job of engaging with new fans and bringing them on a journey with her. As with any launch, product market is important. Fundamentally, this was a documentary no one needed or wanted, but at the same time, we are both very strong and sure of what they feel. At times, she was very sure. She was like, this is what's happening, please listen to me, please tell me, and felt very misunderstood at times. I can also relate to that a bit. I'm very sure of what I want and sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I'm doubtful of myself, but I follow my instincts more than anything. And I find that when I go against that, that's when I go wrong. Now that everything is out in the open, Lopez has been hinting about her marital woes to her online community. JLo has further fueled fan speculation after liking the cryptic post on Instagram. Relationship coach Elena Marsak created the post, which discussed the difficulties in a relationship without integrity and respect. Well, the post read, You cannot build a healthy relationship with someone who lacks integrity and emotional safety. Why? Trust is the foundation of any relationship. Without integrity, it's difficult to trust someone's words, actions, or intentions. This can create an environment of fear, anxiety, and emotional instability, making it challenging to feel safe and secure in the relationship. Apparently, Lopez's ex-fiancé, Alex Rodriguez, is eating up all the juicy details. You see, insiders revealed that A-Rod is apparently loving that this is happening and waiting for it to all crash and burn because insiders allege that he's either still really peeved about how the relationship ended. They said, Alex fell apart when J-Lo ran off with Ben. He felt like she tossed him out with the trash when she got a better offer from Ben and it did a huge number on him. He went from uh, planning a wedding to watching her marry someone else in what felt like the blink of an eye. It was the worst year of his life and to make things 10 times worse, J-Lo didn't have an ounce of empathy for him. She flaunted her romance with Ben every chance she got. To see Jen getting some karma for her actions is pretty sweet, even if A-Rod wouldn't admit that publicly. His friends all know he's been waiting for things with her and Ben to crash and burn. Fans believe that J-Lo might end up alone, as her bad track record and reputation have exhausted all of her chances of having a healthy relationship. Along with Rodriguez, Lopez has another ex who isn't exactly thrilled about her romantic exploits. Her first husband, Ojani Noah, claimed, I wish her and Ben the best, but I'm not convinced it will last. Jen loves being in love, but she's been engaged six times. Ben is husband number four. I was husband number one, and she told me I was the love of her life. When we lay in bed on our wedding night, she said we would be together forever. And that's it for today. See you in the next one. Goodbye.